I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, it's just, I'm trying to catch the Hopped on a plane of Pennsylvania. I couldn't get no sleep. I think that this might be. A lot of you guys are going to be starting university in about a month. That's if you're in Zim. And best believe, a lot of you are going to be off-campus students. I've been an off-campus student for the past three months, so I thought I should just do a grocery haul. Because you're going to be wondering, okay, what do I need to buy? If I'm staying off-campus, what do I need? What don't I need? So I figured, hey, let me show you right now, in real time, what I have. Yeah? yeah okay so we're going to start off with my neat plastic this is my neat plastic and it stays in the deep freezer obviously it stays in the deep freezer there's a deep freezer somewhere that's it i have some chicken breasts i have minced meat i have a remainder of a sausage more chicken and I have beef. My grandmother is actually the one who sent me beef. If it wasn't for my grandmother, I would not have had beef. Yeah. Beef in Harare is kind of expensive, so generally I don't buy it. So my grandmother is the plug. I have beef now. And some more minced meat. So this is the meat. I don't have fish, but I guess if you like fish, you can have fish. Like, no one's going to stop you. Yeah, but this is what I have. I will be very honest, I normally don't have like things stored up. I usually buy things as I need them. That's why you've seen a lot of times in vlogs, I'll go to the store to buy one green pepper and all of that. But right now I have some tomatoes. I have an orange, a carrot couple of onions in there and in the deep freezer frozen my veggie I got I got this I got these this is the plural my veggie I got these my veggie <laughs> last week and I didn't feel like cooking them so I just boiled them chopped them up and froze them I also have some frozen cauliflower and broccoli which I think I will use today Okay guys, I know visually the seams are not great, but we have a haul to finish, okay? We have a haul to finish. So now I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I keep in my room. So, in my room, in our room, I have this thing over here, falling apart, I know. You know like when you buy a new duvet and it comes in like that round circular plastic thing? Yeah, that's the thing that I use and I keep it nearby somewhere where I can easily access it because in here are things that I need easy access to on a daily basis. First of all, we've got our tea. Absolutely love tea. This is Royal Boss tea. I have two or three cups a day, especially when I'm at home. I, I, I genuinely enjoy tea. She's that girl. Especially with lemons. Love lemon tea. Then I have some jungle oats. I have some jungle oats right here. No going to lie guys, I really don't rate oats that much. Yes, I'll have them once in a while, but it ex I really don't like them that much. Not because they're bad, I just don't like them that much. So yeah, I, this box has been here since like April and we are in July. <laughs> Toilet paper, because like I said, easy access. Some vitamins that have run out. I'm going to be very honest with you guys, university is a very dirty, dirty place. Infections go around like mad. If one person catches a cold, best believe half the university is going to catch it. So obviously seek advice like from a professional first if you're concerned about it. But I do recommend getting on vitamins. Just something to keep your immunity up because university is a dirty, dirty, dirty place. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm very scared of catching colds. I, I don't like people's colds. I don't like their illnesses because when I catch a cold, I'm sick, sick. So, yeah. Keep yourself safe. I also have this jam that I've only used like twice and it's expiring next month. 
just gonna take it home and force people to eat it because what other plan do I have? I also have this pasta that's open, powdered milk that's literally almost running out. It's run out. I'm I'm just holding on to this for sentimental purposes because this can't even make a cup of tea. I think I'm, I'll just eat it like that and throw it away. Macaroni. Not gonna lie, I don't eat this that much. It's a, this is high fiber macaroni she's very healthy but she's not tasty so in the bag she will stay and i also have peanut butter this is the one that's run out there's another one somewhere it's like i said i am a porridge girl through and through then i have some mealy meal this is like regular mealy meal just not in its original package the spice jar from the last video should we go through the spice jar? I mean, why not? We're already here. So in the spice jar, I have my soups, my spices, my seasoning, all of that good stuff. So I have a bunch of Kunor soups. Kunor, please sponsor your girl. I, I genuinely love these soups. This one is a minestrone. Some Durban curry because from time to time, your girl likes a cake. Ground cinnamon that I use in my oats when I do make oats. This one is in cream of chicken soup. Oh, imagine if I forgot to press record. Another cream of chicken. This is beef and tomato, rich oxtail, and hearty beef. And obviously you don't need this many. I mean, you can get away with just having one. Or even just buying Rico. I have Rico, but I've never used it. But I just genuinely enjoy these soups. Portuguese chicken spicy barbecue that's virtually run out i don't know why i still have that and black pepper oh yeah i don't know if i mentioned this but today is the last saturday of the semester i, me I mentioned this in the other vlog all of this to say that i don't have as much as i normally would have so there's a couple things that are missing that i normally would have but i don't have because it's the end of the semester cooking oil the girl of the moment guys prized possession pride and joy I went through, the semester was four months, this is my second bottle of cooking oil, one thing about me, I can budget. Hi wa! Zim will do that to you, like, I'm so proud, I'm so proud, look, this is my second bottle, still got cooking oil for days, so, cooking oil. This empty bottle of mazoya peach, I've also got some chunks here. I had chunks a lot when I first got here because I didn't know how to buy meat by myself. So I had a lot of chunks to the point where I think I spoiled chunks for myself because I love chunks, I genuinely do, but now I can't eat them because I overdid it. We've got some pasta. Not gonna lie you guys, I normally buy the cheapest brand of pasta, whatever it is. No name brand, whatever it is, give it to me, but my grandmother sent me this and ha! Huh? Guys, she's worth the extra dollar. She's worth the extra dollar. This pasta is quality, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also have this rice. I think I'm actually gonna have rice for dinner today. Garlic and rice. I love garlic fried rice. Okay, it's not garlic fried rice. Okay, let me tell you how you make it. Chop up your garlic, fry it in butter. Let it like simmer there. Then you put your hot water and your salt for your rice. Then you put your rice inside, 10 out of 10. If you are a garlic lover like me, should definitely try it out. I love cooking my rice that way. Then I also have the goat Zimbabwe's finest biscuits. If you don't like these, you're childish. I I I don't know how else to say. I don't know how else to say it, friend. Okay, you're not childish, but I really like these biscuits. They're cheap. They're tasty. Yeah, I have some biscuits here. This two liter of fruited guava. That's what I take to school right now. If I'm not taking water, I'm taking that. Also have this samp. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I bought samp and I tried to cook it and it tasted nothing like the way my mom makes it. So I just never tried to cook it again. I think that this is all. The rest of the stuff is just like toiletry stuff. Should we do a toiletry wall? Would you guys like to see that? I don't know if I have enough battery for that. I'm gonna have my gizzy, but. I don't know, let me know in the near future. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Okay, you guys, so we have come to the end of this haul. This has really taken a lot to film, I'm not going to lie to you. And I still have to come up with a thumbnail and go to school and finish editing this. But I'll finish, I will finish today. 
I, I can feel it. This thing has been so good in terms of creating. These are like your behind the scenes type vibes that you're seeing right now. I've never filmed on the floor. It's quite liberating. Do you guys want to see what I'm wearing? Ha, huh. let me actually show you guys. Why are you not balancing? If there is a tech company watching and you'd like to send me a tripod, please feel free. Let me show you guys something. One thing about me, I can't come and feel cold. I'm actually wearing like proper leggings. <laughs> proper, proper leggings as in proper leggings. Underneath my jeans. Yeah, I need to get my jeans adjusted again. If you guys watched my moving to uni, these were adjusted. Now we need to get them adjusted again. I'm not like losing weight or anything. I'm just losing inches off my waist, which is great. The place I came from, there's an ocean between me and the person that I once was. And if I find